Hey everyone, it's Tyler from World of Wind Gaming, and we're gonna be playing some Whitebeard today. This is my Whitebeard list that will be taken in, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't shove it up some people's faces here. Um, let's find something. Yay, the fun part of Sim. I'm going to host a public game, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, Whitebeard. Great deck. It's really good in the meta right now. Oh, kind of curry. Perfect. I'm going to go second. I almost always go first. I'm going to mulligan that. I almost always go first, but against kind of curry and black, I want to go second because I want to disrupt their 8 drop and 10 drop things. No other things. Let's see here we got. Um, I don't have the, the blocker, Marco. Which would be nice. A nine drop is nice. Five drops really nice too. But I'm going second. Do I play the drop Marco on curve? I don't know. This one's a tough one, boys. I'm really stuck between the Marco and the Nougat. You can make an argument for all these things. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the Marco. And here's why I'm going with the Marco. Is that I play for Marco. I play for Whitebeard. Uh, the Whitebeard, I have the ability to draw later. And the Marco, I think the same, but with like life and stuff. So I'm going to go 7 into my 6. I'm going to block, or counter out, and I'm going to give him a... Give him a um, I'm, I really like playing Marco on curve. Oh, see, I get punished. I wish I would have grabbed the white beard now, but that's why we do what we do. Um, I really like dropping it, though, because I, it's a lightning rod, yes. I have a second one, which is fine. It might make him play a little bit differently, and... Um, and so yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go six into his five. Let's see if he gives me a card. He should take it. Yeah. Yeah, you got a counter. Got a little trigger for me. Yeah, what you got there? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Next turn, I'm going to play this. I'm going to kill that Sanji. And then I'm going to have either one up or I can swing and go 7 and 5. It's kind of dead for a couple turns, but I want to start playing big stuff and I want to chain it. And so I don't... I want to have this down already so I can use the ability. He can start picking up life if he wants to make it bigger. I don't care. It's fine with me. 7 into my 6. I'll give you another 2k. Pew. One thing I will say about Kanakuri is the fact that you can just put one on on and go an extra one is good, but I, it's kind of like Zoro, I think, of, this, of set three. It's a bit aggressive. Yes, you can look at your life and do stuff. Okay. Cool. See, told you. It's a lightning rod. I'm not worried about that. I got all these Marcos. Yeah, I wish I would have grabbed the white beard by now. But there's no way of knowing that. If I if I drew like double white beard, I'd be pissed that I didn't grab a Marco. You got for me, buddy. I'm gonna go. That's aggressive. So aggressive. I'm so tempted to just let him have it, but I'm not gonna do it. Um, 
so tempted. I'll just let him come in like that. But if I'm not on the Newgate plan, I do that. But I'm always on the Newgate plan, even if I don't have them, because I will draw them or get them out of these two life. Or I play the Ezo and grab a new gate, so. Um, okay. No blocks, bro. Assault attack. You got me. Um, I have six, so I really like the idea of just saying, cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna new gate. I'm gonna swing five into that two, probably. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and grab the new gate. I wanna, I wanna see the new gate. Yeah. I mean, I could have uh, put the one dollar I spent there. I'll give me a 2K. I'd much rather swing seven into five, make him give me a two and a one, but I wanted to, I wanted to grab the, uh, oh, wow. She will hook Chris Batman. I uh, really wanted to see a new gate. All right, so I'm at six. It'd be at eight next turn. Ace is great, but I want his stuff sideways. So definitely next turn, I'm playing a Marco. Definitely. I think I just learned how that. My counter power is not really good right now. I didn't have anything up, so as much as I'd love to not let him have that, I just it's, it happens. It's fine. I'll new gate with one life left. Yeah. But you don't have less life than me. I wish I'd done that first then. Eight. I can go four and have four left. I have two up. Four. I can do like five. Leave like one up. I can go three. I can go like seven, eight. That's that's a thing. He's probably gonna go nine. What happens if I just go seven at you? What do you do? Really? Um. There's like that two for five. There's like ten. So you either go to 10 or you give me a card here. Yeah, called it. Here's a blocker, Marco. In turn. Okay, so. Next turn we're definitely new getting with a rad beam up. He's low in cards in hand, so I bet you the two sixes. I'm gonna get at least one life out of his face. Six and a six, that's what you're doing? Oh, six into that, oh. Well, you're gonna love this. No blocker, resolve attack, use card action, and that is a guard point, sir. Really? Do I give him another guard point or do I give him a white beard pirate? I really like the idea of giving him a guard point over the, another white beard pirate. I wish it was a 
white beard pirate then the event oh well so this is what happens boys you're gonna trash your life and here's why you're doing that i'm not giving him another life with extra triggers so it sucks with the Newgate things, but, I mean, if he plays, like, another Big Mom next turn, like, I'll feel like an idiot giving him a life, and then he trashes another one, so. Uh, it happens, boys. It's okay. Um, I'm definitely, like, going 6-6 six, six into him, or 6-8, actually, because I'm going to play the white. I'm going to play the uh, Newgate and have a Rad Beam up. So, we're going to go 6. We're going to bait. Not really bait. We're going to get a card out of his hand. He should give me a 1k. <gasps> wow. Okay. Well, 100% doing this. 8 into 5. Take a life. Hopefully it's not a good trigger. And yeah, we left that up. Okay. It's harder for him to hit me. Um... I didn't play the ace because I want, I would, if, if this was tapped also, I would have went and played the ace to murder those two things, but I like where I'm at. I wish I had a life, but things happen. I think seven drop and 10 drop big mom are really good. And it's the reason to play yellow. If big mom, seven drop and 10 drop did not exist, I would not care about yellow at all. Which is why I like Black Yellow Big Mom. And other decks that splash yellow, not are long because there's not a lot of uh, trigger stuff yet. But there needs to be reasons to play things. And I, I think just splashing yellow, or splashing yellow for these things is really good. Um, okay, so he's going 8 into 6. It's the same thing if I just use that. So I'm just going to just let it die. And then I have this for his big next attack. It sucks because I don't know how big he's going to go. He might just go 10 drop right now and I feel like an idiot. But at the same time, he can't go straight 5 into 5. So it looks like he's going 10. 10 drop big mom. Yeah, he's sad I don't have a life to lose. Honestly, against yellow, I've I haven't decided this hardcore yet, but I always like just losing all my life against yellow, just because then they can't seven drop and ten drop big mommy. It's kind of productive with the white beard, but it might just be a, uh, just switching things. He's gonna go eight into my eight. I still give him. Oh, he's going eight into this. What? Okay. I like just actually giving him. Giving him my Marco right here. How am I doing that? All right, you got eight. What you gonna do? Kind of hurry me. Put that to my life, probably. what I would do. I regret putting that down now. Would have just given him the ace. But I like playing the ace now. Makes that like a five, which is a easier. Oh, okay, that's a I don't know if I agree with that, but sure. Ooh, two K, that's nice. Okay, so I can go seven lead two up. So I have one more to play with. <coughs> so I can this be like a seven. Um, or do I just say, screw it, and just go to your face? I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't, I'm going to try to check his face. Like, I want this removed. But, like, yeah, I mean, I can just go, just go to his face right now. I can go seven... Okay, so, here, so here's the school of thought here. I can go one, two, three. So I I, I don't think he's going to go more than seven, nine. I, I don't think so. So I can go seven, eight, nine, three. Go three at him. 
Or I can just guarantee the kill. The problem is that this is like a Charlotte Lillen. It feels bad, but you know what? I'm gonna go nine and this five. Worst case scenario, I, I make my marker go sideways. Oh, yay. You are so dead. GG. Yay. Yeah, yellow is just a super, super, super easy match. Super easy match. Okay. Well, we're going to do one more. One more. Oh my god, there's so many people. Hey, Kaido. Kaido is a weird one. Kaido is a weird one for us. Uh, we're going to keep it. It's They play big things and they kill our big things. So, um, Kaido is not the easiest matchup, believe it or not. So, we got... Let's grab our big scary thing. Especially the fact that we're at the bottom one anyway. We already have a blocker, so... Cool. Oh, of course, they always have it. They always have it. Um... I'm not playing the Marco because I just want to murder it. Um, I have to get a white beard pirate thing, and I feel like these are the same thing. I'm not worried about the searching because like I'm probably not gonna play anymore. So. Honestly, I'm so tempted to just go. You know what? I've never done this before. I'm gonna do it. Ezo is gonna get in the mix. Five v five. I'd love for him to take a life right now. He'll give me a one though. Hey, I'm gonna block her over saying that's a win in my book. Probably because he sees that I had that Marco. He doesn't want to play that dude down. Okay. Protect your life. That's cool. Probably means he's a big boss boss or something. I'll be at I'll be at six next turn. What does this do? I, I trash a card from my hand. Okay. Um Do I trash the ace? Or do I trash this? I'll trash that. Um okay. No box, you get it. I could put one more dawn swung on my face, but whatever. Okay, I'm at six. That's at five. It's a two key power they put down there too. So realistically, I don't want to put it down, but I think I put it down and just hope he doesn't have like a blocker or something waste, because like I don't want to put this down until I can protect it. I can leave one up and I'll swing six. He's only got three cards in hand, so I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna swing for six. He used to be a two K, he's being a two K, but I don't think he would, yeah. Wish this was a five or seven, but you know what? Things happen. And I'll end turn. Yeah, that thatch would have been a lot better to have. Than that Marco, but you never know. Yeah. And then also he couldn't uh, rest this. Seven into six. And he could go seven to six again if he really wanted to. Um, okay. Well, I'll just do no blocks. Got two two Ks I can give. I'd like to protect my stuff. Um... Be eight next turn, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, 
Um, seven and a six. Yeah, that's that's cool. No blocks. We can do that now. I like having this ability though. I can keep that alive. I can bring that back. Alright, let's use it now. I like keeping my two draw my two K's. I don't care. Yellow. Okay, so the question is um, he can neg one Dawn. And he's at nine already, so he probably would. And then that would make it to where like he rests my other, so he rests my five drop. So I'm gonna play. So this one would do. I'm gonna make this easier to like kill his board. It it makes him want to murder Kaido me though, which is fine. Okay. So I swing that there. He should just give it to me. Um, that must be seven and five. I should get a card from his life. I bet you I take another card from his life too. I don't think he gives me a two and a one. He's at five cards in hand. He's gonna draw, he's looking for a big fatty. Oh, never mind. Okay. Um I if he doesn't have ten drop Kaido here, he's in trouble. That's what I was looking for. I was really looking for that event. So if he does Wrath of Kaido me, I can bring this back and have some recursion, and I love that. No, Hannibal, okay. Hannibal, Hannibal. I have lots of stuff in hand. I'm not too worried about anything. Okay, speaking of lots of stuff in hand, I can't get rid of the card. Um, seven drop ace ain't really doing too much for me right now. Uh, it's good if they like play big things and swing in, but at that point, I'm just gonna go. For, I'm just gonna go for his face. At least Thatch has a one K counter on him. And like going wide against me is not what he wants to do. He wants to go tall. He wants to murder my things and leave a fatty on the board. Yeah, seven and a six, no blocks. I'm gonna give you a two K. I have that one for you, sir. Okay, now we're at 10. I can play this. They kind of. Uh, he's got like a bunch of stuff down, so it's not the end of the world. So if I. So I might just keep that back. Um, I have the red beam up still as well. I'd like to play a four drop Marco, but I like saving a life with Newgate, so we're gonna do that. So uh, obviously swing with this first because that can tap. So we'll go six and a five. There goes the the thing there. We'll stand by. All right. Well, that's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll go seven. We'll go eight. Yeah, six, seven, eight. Cool. Pow. He's gonna be annoyed because he wants me to go kind of tall because he's probably got uh, the 4K Bogula or whatever. Yeah, I feel like we're set pretty pretty well right now, folks. The Marcos are definitely coming down next turn though, which are really good against him. So he can swing a big guy all he wants. Does he want to block? If he starts blocking really willy nilly, he definitely has a murder Kaido. The the ten drop. Which is so good right now. We're in a boss monster meta. I was thinking a lot about Kaido recently. I think Kaido is someone that really knows what they're doing. Kaido's great. Oh, he's got this one. Yeah, that one's good too. Okay. Well, joke's on him because I can still attack him. Uh, the newest of the gates, the five drop. Okay, and we'll go five into five. Be hilarious if it takes a life. Okay. 
I think he has a murder Kaido. He was like, yeah, drop that new gate for me. And, you know, it happens, guys, but... He'll swing five into nothing, actually. He will just play murder Kaido and pass. And I'll save up my Marco with my guard point. Shocker. It's like I played this game before. I will select that to trash. And he can't even swing in it. Uh, ten, okay, so four, five. So I'm gonna have five Dawn left. I'm, I almost like just hitting him hard in the face. I could even theoretically play double Marco if I wanted. But I have a rat. Beam. So I'm not too worried about it. So we're gonna go two here. We're gonna guarantee. Yeah, take it. Yeah. Cool. All right, boys. We're sitting pretty. We got some counter in hand. We got a blocker. We still have a life. We got an event. It's a good one. And we have three attackers. <coughs> yeah. Twelve. Okay. I will give you. Yeah, because I go 10. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm so safe. Block. Resolve. Use card action. There you go. Yep. Leave you these three right. Okay. I mean, if he did it correctly, 10, 12, and 13. Oh, he disconnected. Sucks to suck. Well, guys, that is... That is how the cookie crumbles, boys. That is what we like to see. So, yeah. Whitebeard is still good in OPO3. We got the new toys to play with. A lot of decisions, but it's really, really good. I really highly recommend you shuffle it up and check it out. But I appreciate you guys watching. Comment down below, what would you like to see us play next? Do you want to see us play Rob Lucci? Do you want us to see us play Purple Shanks? Do you want to see Will play Zoro and want to kill himself? Uh, make sure to like the video as well. And make sure you check out our Patreon if you haven't. We got a lot of good stuff going on there. Anyway, thanks for watching, though, guys. Peace.